Hello everybody, welcome to the Explore Scientific Live, and this is our mount collections page. That's Scott, great. would you be able to tell us a little bit about these mounts here? Sure, I'll try to. So, <laughs> we have, uh, behind us here, we've got all of our equatorial mounts, and these are driven with the PMC-8 uh, go-to system. Now, it's not really just a go-to system. PMC means precision motion controller, and so precision motion controllers are used for robotic arms and all kinds of precision motion uh, that you might need uh, for, you know, building cars or, you know, moving things on rails or whatever, but we use it for a go-to system. Wow. And so it's pretty cool because the eight that's, uh, that is part of the name is the eight processors that are dedicated towards operating each function of the go-to system itself. And so we don't, we don't use like an interrupt system. A lot of go-to systems that are on the market, the way that they work is the, the one or two processors are in there are really, really busy. They're, they're serving, it's like a, a fast, a fast cook, you know, working in the kitchen. Right. You know, he's making a hamburger here, he's cooking an egg there, and then he's doing this, and he's doing that, the same guy. So they're just overworked. They're overworked, okay. So the, the eight different processors here, they just have one job, and they, they either do the tracking, or they're sending a go-to signal, or whatever but it's very, very dedicated, and this is how we get redundancy in the system, the electronic system, for re reliability. Wow, that sounds really efficient. It is, it is, and to protect it all, we put a conformal coating on there, so uh, they can't be damaged by moisture, they're designed to be used outdoors, you know, wow. so. That's great out in the field. That's right, so in those nights where you know, your electronics are soaking wet because of all the dew that might be out there or whatever, or maybe you get caught in a light rainstorm or something like that, you know, these electronics are going to be okay. On top of that, uh, on our two more advanced systems here, you'll notice that the box is kind of, uh, of a, a separate uh, component here. Um, if there was ever a rare occasion that something might go wrong, you can send out the box, okay, if you belong to the Explore Alliance, Okay. and have one of our platinum memberships, we do advanced product replacement. So, Wow, so I wouldn't have to send in the entire mount. You wouldn't have to send in the whole mount. You would just send in a box, okay? And if you were an Explorer Alliance platinum member, I would just send a box to you in advance, okay? And you can send the other box back. That's great. That way I'm not out of any uh, viewing time. That's right. That's right. And so, the, and that, that's important for astronomers because, uh, you know, they, they want to have as much uptime as possible. Both of these mounts, even without electronics, can still be used, okay, so that's not a problem. The IXS100 is a, is a small system, though, so we, were, we had to build the electronics into the mount itself. Uh, it still uses stepper drives. Uh, it has a precision adjustment for altitude and azimuth. We have a polar bore scope for it. And you'll notice that we have this rail, and right now I, I have a digital SLR on it. Okay, the digital SLR, I mean, this is a great equatorial tracking type of mount, um, really designed for someone that's just kind of getting started in astrophotography, or maybe you're an eclipse chaser or something. So okay. that, that's, a, that's a great system to have. This mount, if you have telescopes that are like, I don't know, from 80 millimeters all the way up to about a five inch, you can see I have a four inch ED apo here, and I've got an 80 up here. I'm actually building this system out for astrophotography, okay? This one here has our six inch refractor on there, but mm -hmm. that's not much of a, of a weight, not much of a payload for that particular mount. This can take big telescopes, and uh, it has ultra precision tracking, so it's very nice. Made by Los Mandy with the Explore Scientific PMC-8 electronics on it. On top of that, we have the, uh, let's start with the Twilight Nano mount. This is an alt azimuth mount, uh, totally grab and go. You know, you stick your small spotting scope on there or your small like a ED80 or an 80 millimeter refractor, something like that. There are smaller refractors people have, but this is just really, really smooth, really stable, solid steel legs, adjustable, accessory tray. It's, it's a great little mount. This is the Twilight One. The Twilight One has even heavier duty legs on it. It can raise, both of these, these tripods can raise up higher. Uh, this one can raise up much higher. And uh, this has slow motion controls for altitude and azimuth. 
This is the, uh, uh, the, um, our nano equatorial, and the nano equatorial has slow motion controls. It's good for, you know, small little telescopes, uh, maybe as, as big as a four inch could okay. fit on here, a four and a half inch Newtonian, something like that. That would work very well. Again, the solid steel legs, mm -hmm. uh, precision adjustments for uh, polar alignment, and you have standard setting circles on here. No electronics, okay. you know, so nothing to wear out, nothing to, no batteries to die out right. in the field. <laughs> but speaking of batteries, we're running our, our telescopes with our, uh, the Explore Scientific lithium battery, and this is a nice rechargeable battery. We'll run hundreds and hundreds of recharges, so very reliable and uh, available only from Explore Scientific. We have all kinds of other parts. We've got cradle rings, we've got counterweights, we've got dovetails and stuff like that. So if you have a mounting uh, uh, solution, uh, come to us and we'll help you work it out. Thank you.